A warm welcome to the newsroom. No fewer than 103 people have lost their lives to the last of fever since the disease recently broke out in no fewer than 16 states across Nigeria. And this is according to the Center for the, uh, Disease Control, NCDC. In its weekly situation report released on Thursday, the health agency said there has been a spike in the number of suspected and confirmed cases as well as in the death uh, from the disease. The hike is coming less than 48 hours after the Lagos state government confirmed a new case of the hemorrhagic cancer in the territory. The police in Abuja have arrested a suspect over the murder of an assistant director attached to the state house in Abuja, Leticia Dugan, according to a statement by the Federal Capital Territory FP Command Spokesperson and Jury uh, Manza. The arrest followed a preliminary probe by the Criminal Investigation Department of the police force. The police added that the suspect, whose identity was not revealed, conspired with others who are still at large to carry out the crime. The Federal Capital Territory High Court May Tama has ordered the release of Sambo Dasuki's passport to enable the ex-NSA renew the document and secure visa to travel abroad for medical consultation. Dasuki had deposited the passport in the registry of the court as part of the conditions of the bail granted him by the court December 16. The prayer for the release of the passports as contained in the application filed on February 11 was not opposed by the prosecutor and to the federal government, however, opposed Dasuki's request seeking the permission of the court to travel abroad. The House of Representatives has ordered its Committee on Population to investigate the complaints from Nigerians about difficulty in obtaining the National Identity Number, NIN. The lawmakers also charged the government to synchronize data collected from various data collection agencies to provide unique national identity for every citizen of the country. These decisions were made on Wednesday following a motion of urgent public importance moved by Ben Ibakba of PDP Delta State to raise concerns about NIN being a prerequisite for the 2020 Fisherland Cross Development Fund PTDF scholarship. And the federal government has announced that the licenses of power distribution companies this goes is under revocation threat. Minister of Power Sally Maman announced this on Thursday. He added that the federal um, executive council FPC will now decide the fate of the discos after reviewing the memo on their performance so far. China has reported the biggest drop in new cases from the corona a virus outbreak in nearly a month on Thursday. The National Health Commission said that more than 74,500 people have now been infected nationwide by the virus, which first emerged in central Hubei province in December. However, the Hubei Health Commission said it was reducing the number of previously reported cases in a number of cities in the province by 279. Nigeria doctors have threatened to uh, protest the country's non-appearance at a qualifying tournament for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics in Dakar, Senegal, from February 20th to According to the boxers, the Nigeria Boxing Federation told them that they would not take part in the Olympic qualifiers because there were no medal hopefuls. The boxers said they would gather at the National Stadium in Lagos on Thursday day to protest their non-participation the qualifying tournament. That's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Delia.